Hey, I am Clone Yoshi. It's a video. Whoa! No way. Uh, I just saw Alien Covenant. It was a thing. Um, but yeah, that was a movie. And I'm going to review it. Because internet, that's what I do. Um, so this is a prequel to Alien and a sequel to Prometheus. Um, I don't know how my prequels are going to be to the Alien movie, but this is going to be a lot, apparently, because this did not answer anything about Alien, the Force Alien. Um, maybe, like, a little bit in, like, future movies, but, I don't know. I think it's setting up to set up the setup, you know? Um, but yeah. Not much really answered here besides that David still alive whoa um but yeah um it was okay for what it was uh comparing it to the first one and the second one um is doesn't really hold up but if you're comparing it to the entire franchise it's probably one of the better ones um so yeah um, that will probably be it, spoiler free lies, so if you haven't seen the movie yet, uh, now's your chance to run, because I'm going to talk about everything, and everything's going to happen, and you, you're going to be, like, super mad if you don't leave, so, uh, spoiler time, here we go. Um, so, this movie... Takes place ten years after Prometheus happens, um, which I guess okay. I mean, it answers what happens after Prometheus, but I don't know. Um, I mean, aren't they, I think there's supposed to be like at least three more uh, prequels, maybe two. Um, but there's going to be a few more prequels, I know. But I don't know how many. So I don't know why they didn't just have it be in, like, that for her. Um, but, yeah. Um. This movie did not answer that much about what half of that stuff was. Um, like, Prometheus was going to answer those questions, but it didn't. Um, I think people think it did. People that aren't super naughty, like people I know. But uh, it really didn't, because those alien things that were in Prometheus weren't the actual alien things that were in Alien. They were on a different thing, and those are older uh, for some reason, because we couldn't make them be the same thing because that would be less money to make movie wise so we're going to just be like let's make a billion prequels to this one good movie actually two good movies and the rest of it is like bit or shitty you know so yeah um not much really gets answered here uh, besides that, David's experiment, uh, experimenting with aliens. So I wonder if he's going to be what creates, like, the Queen uh, alien from Aliens or something. Because there was different type of aliens in this. Uh, the spore aliens were interesting. They were uh, pale color, which was interesting. Um... But, if David's exper experimenting with aliens, you know what they could do? We could go back to the Kenner toy line, bring back all those racky aliens that we saw in those toy lines, like the lava one. I'm sure there's a glow in a dark one somewhere, but those could be a thing now. Um, so, if you ever wanted those to be a thing, think... Now's the time to make it a thing, guys. So make it a thing. Um, 
But yeah, uh, this movie was decent. Um, the f most of the people that died, I don't think really had that much character, character development though. Like, the main characters that you care about, most of them survive. Um, which I guess is good, but kind of, like, if you're going to have a body count, you should make some of those bodies count, like, mentally, not just physically, you know? I'm just saying. Like gonna kill someone make it meaningful um like James Franco was in this movie why was James Franco in this movie he was only in it for like a scene well, I guess maybe two scenes but like nothing to like really have him do besides be like yeah I died in the first scene of the movie now you have the father of the main character who was the wife of my character who was upset about this and then uh yeah I feel like the only reason he was in this movie is because Danny McBride was in this movie so who knows um but yeah this movie was okay it was not great but it wasn't horrible and I've seen horrible movies and, a lot of, and there's a decent chunk of alien movies that are horrible. So, um, yeah. If you're just looking for a fun movie to turn your brain off to, I guess this might be it. Um, I mean, it kind of furthers the plot of the alien movies. But, it... It's not that much that you can just walk into this movie without seeing a single one from the franchise and kind of have a basic idea of what's happening and enjoy it. The only thing that might be confusing is the David subplot, but they kind of explain what happened in this movie. But you probably don't even need Prometheus, and you can just have this robot from a previous expedition this fucking shit up, you know? Um, but yeah. Um, weren't they supposed to make like a sequel with Ripley that was annoying like everything after two? Um, are they gonna still make that? Is that still a thing? I don't know. Uh, so if you hear footsteps, I'm in the basement, so it's extra echoey and extra footsteppy. Um, yeah, one of the big downfalls of the basement, so you can hear everybody walk across the floor upstairs. Um, but yeah, um, my camera's out of focus because it's fucking half black down here. I mean, like, pitch black. So, uh, yeah. Um, the smoothie was okay. Um, it was kind of long. Like, it could have been sort of, or at least used its time more wisely. Like, I don't know. I mean, it felt like the movie ended, but I felt like if you edited it differently, that could have just been like the middle part of the movie. Like, you could have done something different with this movie um, if you had the time or wanted to. But it's fine for what it is. Um, I mean, don't expect it to be alien or aliens expect it to be okay um but yeah that's about it um trailer wise not much else going on in the trailers um that hasn't been like talked about to death uh it's the first time I saw like American Assassin trailer that looked interesting mainly because Michael Keaton's in it and what 
What the fuck is that baby driver thing? Like, I don't know, it looks good, but I doubt it is. Um, because it's a main character called Baby, and he's a driver, and he has to listen to music, or else he's going to be reminded of the time his parents died in a car class, even though he's a getaway driver for, like, the mob or something. Doesn't make sense. But, yeah. Um... I guess that will do it for this review. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow. No, not tomorrow. Probably next week. Or something's coming out tomorrow. Is something coming out tomorrow? Maybe. You just gotta look. Three day weekend! Yeah!